Hi guys, Jamri Psu. Uh, you are watching Cooking Cambodian Food with Elisa. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cook silk warm. And Khmer call it the cow that lure. The reason why I do this tutorial today is because the other day I was on YouTube and I saw oh, a man who was taking a challenge to eat um, silk warm from a can. And you got to realize if you eat anything from a can, if you put beef in a can, you lose the flavor, the texture. So I'm going to show you two ways to do the silk warm. One is um, way is to deep fry it. When my grandma did it, she toast her. She just used salt and she just toasted it in a pan. Uh, I'm going to twist a little bit because you know, I grew up in the United States and I am going to deep fry this and I marinate my silkworm with salt, garlic powder, and sugar. Um, the reason why I'm going to deep fry it because it gives you a nice crispy coating and I'm very glad that I decided to do this silkworm because I was able to learn a little bit about the, the warm and also a little family history. I found out from my mom the other day um, when I asked her about you know what's a good recipe for it and she told me that my grandma used to make silk out of the silk warm. So let's get started. I already have um, one tablespoon of salt, garlic powder, and chicken soup stock ready here. Okay, so follow me. I'm gonna deep fry them. So in here I have one stick of butter um, in the pan. I have one stick of butter and also a half cup of olive oil. And you want the temperature to be medium, medium high. And yeah, I'm going to let it cook until it's very crispy. Uh, crispy. So here's the silk warm. It's been cooking it in the oil for about 15 minutes already. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to drain it out from the oil. Just like that. And put it in my basket here. And before you, you can eat it like this, or you can um, do it in, into a salad. And I'm going to show you how to do the salad once this this soap warm is had cool down. Okay, and I'll see you in a bit. So here's my fry soap warm. I'm letting my son David tasting it. Okay. I'm gonna eat that. You're gonna eat that, right? Yeah. Okay. Look. See? Go ahead. It's just good. It's good? Yeah, I like it. What kind of flavor do you taste? Uh, it's just like a peanut. Like, I think. <laughs> like peanut? Okay. Would you... Uh, Another one? Yeah, I know. Would you recommend that to your friend to eat it? Yeah. They will eat it. <laughs> they will eat it? They will okay. eat it. Good. Good. Yeah. I'm glad that you like it. So here you go. Don't take my word for it. You can uh, trust David. You yeah. know, he says it's good. That's his first time eating it, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Good. All right. Thank you. Yay. Here we go. Here's my baby, Juliana. She's being brave. She's tasting the silk warm. You can hear the bite, the crunch. How is it, baby? Okay. And one more? Yeah. Oh, she's going for a second. Look at her. Whoa, you can hit a crunch. Look at mommy. Okay, show me your finger from 1 to 10. What number? Oh, wow. You like it? 10. A 10? <laughs> yeah? Okay, thank you, baby. Okay, here's my daughter, Angelina. She's, this is going to be her first time trying the silk warm. How it tastes? Mm, it's really good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Is that honest? True? You like it? Yeah. You do? Oh. What did it taste like? Mm. Crunchy? Salty? Just like a little sour and not spicy and it's a little crunchy. Little crunchy? Okay. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wait a second. One question. Uh-huh. If you eat one and not brush your teeth when it's cooked, is the other one going to eat the other one now? <laughs> no, silly girl. <laughs> no, just brush your teeth and you'll be okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi guys, we're back. So my cell phone was cooked and I let it cool down. So you can eat like this as a snack, just like that, or you can do it as a uh, as a salad. And then um, we call this nyam sao. Um, basically, you will need one bag of frozen sao flour. That's how it looked like. So one bag of that, and this is how it looked like. I cooked this in boiling water for for about three to five minutes. And once it's cooked, you're gonna rinse it out with cold water, and you just want to pick the flour. You don't want the stem. So the easiest way is just to use your finger and just pull it down, just like that. You only want the the um, the flour part because that's the the tender part of it. And if you ever had this, this is uh, it has a bitter a bitter flavor. But once you mix with all the other ingredients, it kind of balances a little bit and it kind of get rid of that bitterness. But the Cambodian said this is good for you, good for your health. So there's my slough. And then next, here I have some basil, Cambodian called Chi Kham. And here I have some mint. And here I have some red radish. Or radish. I don't know what I call red radish. It's radish. And you want to cut it just spicy like that. Thinly. And I use this radish because um, of the color and also of the crunchy te texture as well. That's your radish. Next will be your cucumber. And you want to cut it the same way as the radish. Okay. So those are all your vegetables. Then the next one, let me move on to the next. This is, this is the tamarind sauce. You will need some seedless tamarind some fish sauce, some palm sugar, and some fried garlic. You're going to let the palm sugar dissolve in the water. After the palm sugar dissolve in the water, you're going to add in the tamarind. The palm sugar has dissolved. So now I'm going to add in the tamarind. So here is the tamarind. And you're going to cook this until it's also become soft. Soft. And then you're going to add in the fish sauce. And we'll go in the fish sauce. You're going to cook this until it becomes into a thick layer. So the sauce is becoming thickened. Now I'm going to add two more tablespoons of regular sugar. Okay, one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. And once the liquor sugar dissolves, I am going to add my fried garlic. And I'm going to turn the stove off and let the sauce cool down. And then we're done with the sauce. So I turn off the, the stove already. Now I'm going to add in two tablespoons of fried garlic. That's one tablespoon. And a fried garlic is very easy to do. Just chop up the garlic and you fry it in oil, any kind of oil you like. And then now the sauce is done. So just let it cool down. And once it's cool down, you're going to add it to your salad.
So here's David. He's helping me toast the peanut, which is going to go into our silkworm salad. Okay. So after we toast the peanut, we are going to um, crush it in a mortar. So it'll be into small, small pieces. So now let's get on with our silkworm salad. So here I have the silkworm, of course. I'm going to just use one cup, just one, about one cup of the silkworm. So I'm just going to add in my, my salad. I'm not going to add a, a lot, I'm just going to put half of that. Okay. Next, I'm going to add in my radish. Okay. I'm going to add just half of it. I'm not going to make a lot because when you make salad, you know, you want to keep it fresh. So you want to prepare this when you're about to eat the salad. And I'm just going to put you know, half of the basil and the mint. Then just a little bit of cucumber. See how colorful that, that is? Would you want to eat that? I haven't even put the sauce in. So now I'm going to put the sauce. And I'm just going to put a little bit. The sauce has a sweet and sour and also um, the flavor of the roast, no, no, the fried garlic, which it's very good. So, I'm gonna toss it. See? I don't know about you, but this looks very delicious. Don't you think so, David? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a good combination because, you know, the silkworms are already cooked in olive oil and butter, you know. That tastes, <laughs> tastes already good already. So, let me just taste a little bit. Mmm, very delicious. You guys should try this. So I'm not going to plate it. You can add more sauce to it, but the sauce tastes very good. So here you go. Isn't that beautiful? I'm also going to add on top of it some roasted, some roasted peanut. Just on top of it. Okay. And you want to go fancy. You want to garnish this. Some basil. And also, some red chili. And just use this and put this on top of your salad. See? Oh wow, that's pretty, huh? And there you go. And if you want more dressing, you just add a little bit more on top of it. Just like that. So there you go. And just spread this a little bit. There you go. Silk warm salad. Would you wanna try that? doesn't look pretty, you know, I'm going to taste it. Okay. Give me some red chili, some sauce, some salao. There we go. Very, very delicious. You guys should try it for yourself. I'm not going to say anything. So there you go. And also before I end my tutorial, I just want to show you something. So here, I have some commoding material or cloth that is made of silk. Here we have some gama. I got this from Siem Reap when I went to um, visit Cambodia uh, about two years ago. And here's also part of it too. So all these are made from silk. And here's part of my, um, my dress or my skirt. Uh, let's make out silk. And here's another one too. So, you know, I truly appreciate the silkworm 
And I also, you know, learned a good history about my family background, that my grandma used to do this. And I'm very, you know, proud of that. So, and um, after this um, tutorial, I wish, you know, there's going to be a little um, picture that I found from google.com, you know, about the silk worm. I just wanted you guys know the reason why I decided to do this cooking show on YouTube. I wanted to dig deep into Kamori culture about the food because you know like this kind of recipe basically it would be disappear if I didn't you know do some research and you know ask my parents about it you know how would you cook silkworm. So this was one recipe I got this from my dad that you can do in your you know, you almost it out. So, you know, and I'm glad that I was able to do this because it turned out very well and it's very delicious and this is my first time doing it and I'm happy to share so with you guys. So that's in our tutorial. Again, you know, if you like my channel, don't forget to uh, like, share, comment, and also subscribe to my so, until channel. the next video tutorial, um, goodbye, Chibriblia.